Hey guys, it's Jason. I hope you're all doing well. Well, pitchers and catchers are starting to report. It's spring training time. The calendar year, as far as I'm concerned, is now officially begun. I generally don't start the calendar year with New Year's or January 1st. I start it when pitchers and catchers report for baseball. So we're going to see some teams coming in now. We'll just see guys in their new uniforms and stuff. And I don't know if you saw that sad sack of a, an apology interview today from the Houston Astros owner and the players. But that also happened today. Um, it was bizarre. You know, apologizing for something you said didn't happen. And then the owner said, well, I don't think uh, the uh, what we did had any impact on games. Well, First of all, if you didn't, then why were you still in science to begin with if it wouldn't impact games? And secondly, about a minute later, he denied saying what he actually just said on live TV. So it was bizarre. And they gave this rehearsed, Bregman and Altuve gave this rehearsed apology. It was just, I don't know. People have opinions and you're entitled to it. But as far as I'm concerned, the players are not held accountable. And uh, that to me is a big smear on baseball. So anyway, let's get to more important topics. I'm going to go over the top five players in the major leagues going into 2020, and I'm going to do every position. Today's video is going to be first baseman. Okay, Next one's going to be second base and so on and so forth. So if you want to see these videos and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, smash that subscribe button and smash the notification next to it. I'll be releasing them every two to three days. So if you don't want to miss them, they'll be short and sweet. They're not going to be super long videos. I'm just going to go with the top five position players. There's other guys that obviously that could be on this list, but I, I didn't mention. And there's definitely some honorable mentions I could, but I'm just going to stick with the top five. Okay, so Today, and this is both leagues, American and national, my top five players in Major League Baseball heading into 2020. So let's get to the list, all right? Number five, Okay, and again, if you have feedback of your own, opinions of your own, put them in the comments. I respond to all comments. I read all comments. I welcome comments. Um, you know, and, and it, it, it brings value to the to the videos because it motivates me to kind of either do other things or accommodate, obviously, recommendations or suggestions, but to make better videos as well. So, and instead of me posting photos or uh, highlights of people who you may not have ever seen before, I'm actually putting their names so that if you haven't heard of a name, you could look up the name and see why I'm putting them there. Instead of just putting some random obscure highlight of somebody, it's like, oh, okay, well, that doesn't really say much of him diving over the wall and catching the ball. That doesn't really tell you why, I think. These guys are the, you know, and you may see some, you'll see a lot of familiar names, but there'll be some names that you may not see. So, with that, number five. Mr. New rookie home run record holder, Peter Alonzo from the New York Mets. Of course, he's a stud. Um, you know, he deserved to be on the top five list after what he did last year as a rookie, but staying on the list is one other thing. You know, you got to not necessarily have to repeat what he did last year, but it's, he's got to be able to pro provide that last year wasn't the fluke and become a productive player on the offensive and the defensive end. Um, but he does deserve to be in the top five. So he's my number five. My number four, this guy's been a consistent player, consistent good defensive and offensive player, and championship pedigree, Anthony Rizzo from the Chicago Cubs. Okay. Um, <clears throat> number three, going to be on one of the best teams in baseball virtually every year, championship perennial contenders, Max Muncy from the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. And he's going to be even in the better position now, adding, with them uh, adding Mookie Betts. He's going to be surrounded by better talent. I mean, you can imagine that lineup of if, if Betts leads off, and then him, Muncy, and then Bellinger, and then like Justin Turner. Like, He's going to be surrounded by a better lineup, so you'll have more opportunities. Because you're not going to want to walk, walk Mookie to get to Muncie. You're not going to want to walk Muncie to get to Bellinger. You're not going to want to walk Bellinger to get to Turner and so on. That lineup is ridiculous. They're stacked. So, uh, But he has proved himself to be a top three on the defensive and offensive end. So, Number two, another consistent player who was traded from Arizona to St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. The St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, all-star every year, stud first baseman. He's earned his contract. He's got a big contract, and he's, he earns it every year. He's a consistent all-star, consistent performer, consistent top player offensively in baseball, and he's great on the defensive end as well. Okay? He's number two. Number one, this might surprise some, this might not surprise some, um, but his defense... Combined with his offense, but particularly his defense, Freddie Freeman of the Atlanta Braves. Okay, 
He's a legitimate stud. Um, and again, to me, he has the best uh, balance of offense and defense. And he's a consistent performer as well. Um, you know, Goldschmidt could easily be number one. And Max could be number one. Rizzo could be number one. Alonzo could be number one in some, in some people's list. Uh, Jose Abreu could be in the top five on other people's list as well. And there's some other players, you know, in Oakland A's and other guys that could easily be on this list. But these are my top five based on consistent performance and kind of an uptrend in what they've been doing. Um, so let me know what you think, okay? My next video, I'm going to go over. This is my trusty list, by the way, that I spend a lot of time working on. The next, five, next video is going to be the top five second baseman in Major League Baseball heading into 2020. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click that thumbs up. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And please smash that notification button as well. I want to make sure that you enjoy the videos. And again, I welcome all feedback. I appreciate your support. And uh, for my regulars, thank you guys and gals so much. I appreciate you all. And um, have a great week. Talk to you next time.